Oh yeah, another tractor. Wicked. Anyway, so today is Wednesday. Uh, I'm not feeling too tip top the past two days. Yesterday was just a complete wreck. Couldn't even talk. I don't know what the deal is. I guess I'm sick of something. Oh, yesterday, I don't know. Like, I noticed it. It was Monday. I started having a little bit of sore throat after I made the video. And then yesterday, my sore throat was just even worse. And now today, I got runny nose. So I brought a box of Kleenex tissues. This video is sponsored by Kleenex tissues. Not really. Oh, uh, yeah. Feeling wonderful today. But work's got to get done because I need to make money to afford Kleenex tissues. Uh, so, yeah. Let's uh, go over a couple things here. So, the past couple of days, we've been cleaning out our basement. Take a look what I found. Like, are you serious? We're keeping this in our basement? This is pretty old, huh? How old do you think that is? Couldn't find a date on it. Pretty curious to see if it's still flammable. That would be pretty interesting. Found this old fan. I thought it was usable, but it isn't. The motors are both fucked up. Uh couple tools here and there, some nice little household oil, check out this old, found two old maps, this is the ski map I found, like, how friggin 90s slash 80s is that dude, huh, there was no date on it, but I just thought it was pretty funny, snowmobile, uh, I mean, ski, uh, New Hampshire, that's pretty wild, travel map, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Pretty wild. I'm gonna check if there's a date on this thing. Probably not. I don't know. I'll have to search later on, but yeah, so that's pretty funny. Uh looks like most of the parts should be in for the Polaris Scrambler this weekend, so I can start doing some of the work on it. Uh probably get the motor up and going this weekend, get it mounted on the chassis, uh get the motor top end built and stuff like that. Hopefully all the parts will be in. This is going to be for Thursday, I think, and all the parts will be in. I start to receive some of them today. Uh, a little tube of Loctite and a few other things. But not the main uh, purchase yet. I'm still, I'm still kind of sort of waiting for my uncle to get back to me on his quad. He wants me to order up um, an uh, oil filter, air filter, and some oil for his Polaris 4x4. He has a... 09 Polaris uh, Sportsman 400 4x4. So I'm going to order up a couple parts for him. But my parts, it looks like, are on back order um, for Polaris Parts Monster I went through. Uh, there's this other company, if you've ever, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it. It's called like Babbitt's Online. And they do like Yamaha Parts House, Articat Parts House, Polaris Parts House. Suzuki Parts House, you know, that kind of deal. I think if it's getting a house at the end, that's called Babbitt's. And honestly, that company is just a fucking ripoff. I think they're a bunch of scammers. They're not really loyal to their customers. Um, I used to order a lot of parts through them. But it's I've found out that, you know, they don't really have good customer service. So I stopped using them. And, oh, sorry. Um... The parts are just extremely expensive, so I stopped using them. But anyway, so here's what we got going on. We got two tractors. We got this one here, and there's another one outside there. Uh, basically, they're just for parts. I picked them up just a little while ago. I wasn't going to go yesterday. Um, I was just too sick yesterday to even want to move off the couch. So I picked these two up today. Uh, it's pretty funny. I went from watching... Uh, what did I start? I think I was watching Judge Judy on YouTube. Like, I started watching a bunch of old clips. And then from, like, Judge Judy, as I watched, like, three or four episodes of that, I went from watching The Price is Right on YouTube. And then from, like, The Price is Right, I went to Jerry Springer. Like, is that not YouTube for you or what? That's pretty funny. But, um, yeah, parts. I'm going to call up them today, try and figure out when uh, I'll be seeing some parts for this. I, I was hoping to see some late this week, uh, but I haven't heard anything yet. I haven't had a re sh shipping 
see receiving it yet. So it looks like something next week, hopefully. Unless the parts are pretty much back ordered. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to start working on uh, this Toro. These two, I, I gotta get at least one of these running today. The guy told me to need them till Friday, but I guess things changed. So he needs one of them running, all set, ready to go for tomorrow. So hopefully I can get this one running. Uh, it already does run, but just needs a tune up, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna get that one working first. And then I'm going to come over here, start working on this tractor, start pulling the parts off, and then I got the other one outside. But on, I think, uh, Monday, I think it was, I power washed the ATV, the Polaris. That thing came out really clean. Um, I think uh, I'm going to do a little bit of touch up on the frame uh, where it needs it. I got basically, uh, I'm not really sure how much I got left. But I have a quart. Uh, it's quite a bit left in there. Just enough so I can spray the frame and shoot it real quick. There should be enough clear. Yeah, there's plenty of clear on that. Got that can and I also got the other can over there. And I'm just going to shoot some parts of the frame. Shouldn't be that big of a deal just to clean her up a little better. Uh, basically, I'm going to just shoot whatever needs to be shot with the black. And then I'm just going to re-clear coat the frame. Uh, that's basically it. So, yeah, so I'm going to start working on this. It's not going to be a whole lot of video today. Uh, like I said, I'm not feeling too well. Um, probably going to get this guy done. Maybe pull this one apart. The other one's basically already pulled apart. And, um, yeah, so that's what we got going on. So, uh, a few of you guys in the comments there. I looked over a few of them this morning. Um... I would have paid for the Polaris. Uh, yeah, I paid 200 bucks for it, which is an extremely good deal for around here. Um, so that's pretty kick-ass. A lot of you guys were about in that ballpark, um, about 250, 225, 180, somewhere in that range. I saw a bunch of those. That's pretty cool. So a lot of you guys are right on. Um, but I just can't get over this piston. I showed two of my buddies, and I'm like, I've never seen this in my life. Yeah, they think it's the original piston. They don't think it's ever really been changed. And two strokes usually, when you start to feel something, you usually start doing a little bit of maintenance on it. Obviously, this guy didn't feel anything, so he just kept on riding. But, I don't know, I just think it's crazy. Check that out, huh? It's like missing everything. Uh, I took a look, inspected the insides of it. There are no broken off, broken off pieces on it, uh, on the inside of the case. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to clean up the whole motor. I'm going to get some uh, parts cleaner. Uh, clean it all up. Make the block all nice. And same on the inside. Uh, I'm not sure if I still have to add oil or not to the bottom of that crane case. So if any of you guys know, you can let me know. I mean, like I said, there's this dipstick. One of you guys said it was for the balancer. Um, so I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to add oil in the bottom of this. It has oil in it right now. Uh, so maybe one of you guys can let me know. And the other thing is, yes, it is a two-stroke engine, guys. A lot of you guys were confused. Uh, Polaris does make the two-stroke engines for the Trailblazer. Uh, possibly the Trail Boss. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I know in the Trailblazer 250 or the 350 or the 400, or the Polaris Sport, or the Polaris Scrambler for 400s, uh, they're all two-stroke. If you go up in like the 500 Polaris Scrambler, they are the four-stroke. Hopefully that cleared some stuff up. Uh, another thing is I noticed a few comments on my uh, on this Toro in my old Husqvarna Zero Turn. Uh, yeah, no guys, um, I don't want another Zero Turn. Um, I sold the other zero turn because it was just too big for me. I have my Husqvarna on a ride on mower. I'm not keeping this one either. Uh, I don't need a zero turn basically. That's the reason why I'm I'm just basically I bought it just to flip it. That's all that I bought it for. I'm not gonna be keeping that. Um there's something else I was gonna go over too. Um but yeah, that's that, that's the deal with this. I got the carburetor, I picked up the carburetor today. It's right here. I gotta order up some linkages for it. And I gotta order up the wiring harness. The guy gave me a block, this guy right here, but I can already tell it's not that right block. So I'll have to go back online and uh, 
order up a wiring harness because I just know it's not the right kit for it. So it's not that big of a deal. But it is what it is. So we'll make do with what I have. Um, you know. So that's basically it. So I'm going to get continue working on what I'm doing here. Hopefully we get this lawnmower just about done. I ordered up a new set of blades for my Husqvarna lawn tractor. I ordered up a set of gator blades last night. I think it was uh, 45 bucks I paid for them. So it's pretty good for three for three blades. Gator blades, jack small engine wanted. I think like 25 bucks a blade. I was able to get them for 45 bucks at auction last night on eBay. So that's pretty good. So that's what going on guys. We'll uh, get back to you in a little bit once we get this guy going and this guy going. So, yeah. Alright, so here's what I've gotten done. Uh, just a little thing on that guy. Uh, man, I must have fucked up my order. I'll have to show you guys that in a second. So, I got her all done. And I was getting ready to repla replace the spark plug. So I come over to my spark plug draw. And I go... Oh crap, there's no spark plugs. And I go, oh wait a minute, I just placed this order the other day. So I come out of the box and I pull out the spark plugs. Well, I don't know, I must have fucked up the order. I ordered two of these, which is the J19, whatever the fuck they call these are RC12, I do believe. Um, I ordered four of these when I don't, don't even need four of these. I just ordered two, or I thought I ordered two of these. I was supposed to order four of these, so I. I guess I need to place another water on spark plugs. But, oil filters. I got some oil filters in for the tractors. Not too bad. Uh, these things are pretty cheap. Um, I get them from this company on eBay, and they're reasonably priced. I'm just going to try and pull up the name of them. Um, yeah, see, it doesn't tell me the name of the oh uh right there if you can focus amcpartstore.com and they got some reasonable price stuff i buy a lot of my bulk items from them this thing on freaking focus here no there it is um i buy a lot of the bulk items from him um i think it's just a single guy that does it not really sure maybe someone out of the basement that's running it and I've gotten a lot of stuff. Uh, like I said, these oil filters uh, for all six of them, I think were twenty bucks. Usually one sells for about seven bucks, so that's pretty reasonable. Um, again, I just actually did the lawnmower that's sitting right over there, the Toro. So I had to come over here and grab a air filter. Uh, this is where I keep all my air filters. Uh, same guy. This is AMC Pert Store. Um, I think the Briggs for the 12 horses, these are usually about 7 bucks a piece. Uh, I bought a box of the square regular lawnmower style, as you can see there. I think the box was like maybe $15, $20, and it's worth it. Uh, same deal, these are the 3 horse Briggs style, you know, the foam ones. Yeah, and I bought the whole box for I think 15 bucks a while back, so I do keep some stuff in stock. And it just makes life a lot easier, especially when you're doing this kind of stuff. But man, I just can't believe I fucked up my damn water. I must have clicked something, I don't know. But I need more of these. Not good. Spark plugs are reasonably priced too. They're about two bucks a piece. Uh, local, around here, they're just too expensive. They want like three dollars or something ridiculous. So I usually just buy the singles. You can buy a whole box of them. But it's just, for me, it's not worth it. It's too much money. Uh, I think I'll only save maybe like five, ten bucks, and a box costs like ninety dollars or something like that. So I, I don't want to dish out that much money when I can just come and go, come and go type deal. But anyway, I've pulled the deck off of this guy, and I think we're gonna be saving the deck for a rainy day. Uh, maybe when I get a deck that's busted up, uh, this deck needs a little bit of work. Needs the spring, the rail rod, the cap. It goes over there, the flapper. Uh, needs springs on these guys. Springs there. It's missing a spring. This is kind of sort of a redneck job right there. Take a look at that. You get the one line going there, one line going there, and then that's your whoop, 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 whoop. It's like, holy. So I'll be saving that deck for a rainy day to fix up. But I'm actually just going to flip this guy over, start pulling some more parts off of her, and we'll be done for the day, I think. So, looking pretty good. 
All right, so there's what's left of that tractor. Nothing really. I break up my super tool. My super duper crazy ass welded mess of a tire slash rim puller off of an axle deal. Best thing I ever built. <laughs> it's homegrown right there. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm just figuring out whether if I want to tackle that lawnmower next or if I want to do one more chop up. I'm thinking I might just haul this guy out of here and do one more chop up. That way they won't be such a big mess in the next day or two. So I'm just trying to figure that out. I pulled the tires off, got everything else. So had a spicer, uh, yeah, spicer transmission. Uh, was it a spicer? Yeah, it was a spicer. Trading it. So that'll bring a couple bucks. Lots of miscellaneous parts here, but most of the stuff's all scrap except for the axle, you know. But that's what we got. So I'm gonna start hauling some stuff out back, and then we'll bring the other one. I tell you what, boys, that was something. I couldn't figure what the hell was going on. I turned off the radio there, and next thing you know, I'm still hearing the song. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? There's like an echo. It was the UPS man who was dropping off the package. It's like, what the hell's that? But, um, yeah, so here's what uh, we got left of this tractor. It was the other tractor. I don't know if I already made the video or not. But it had the uh, hydrostatic transmission in it, so I was pretty kick ass. <laughs> Uh, so, it's just a basic hydro gear. Should bring about 140 bucks. Uh, the splicer, probably about 100 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a little bit more for this one. Uh, I usually sell these for about 140 bucks. I'm gonna try and shoot for 160, try and see what happens. Um, but yeah, the other deck for this one is outside. So, there was no motor on, the, on this one either. But I did keep the uh, steering shaft out of it, the front axle, the transmission, and the deck lift assembly there. But other than that, that's about it. Uh, you know, just a few bucks. Uh, I paid, I think I paid like, yeah, I paid 64 uh, the two tractors, and uh, yeah, I had to go up there anyway to pick up the block and the carburetor, even though that block isn't going to do me anything, so yeah. But, that's what we got going on. Um, plastics, that's just going to go to the recycle anyway. Pull pull the chute out of there, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, that was basically the day, 60 bucks. I uh, should recoup my money pretty easily on these. You know, crafts and parts, I sell pretty fast. So, uh, a lot of people ask, why do I chop up these tractors and not fix them? Well, the thing of it is... You know, well, well, uh, let's take this tractor for example. It had the hood, it had the seat, and it had the deck. Everything was there, but no motor. Um, well, by the time you put a motor in it, if I were to put, I think this thing had a 17, 18 horse on it. It had an 18 Intec V twin, but you could stick a regular 14 horse. Let's say if I stuck a 14 horse in there, I still got to pay someone for the motor because I don't have a motor for it. So there's like about 150 bucks, and then you got to reassemble it, put it on, and hope that everything's all working fine, and, uh, you know, then you got to sell it. And what are you going to get for it? 300 bucks, you know, because this is, they're rough shape. No one's going to buy it in rough shape, and it just doesn't make sense to make $150 on it when you can sell the transmission for a hundred dollars and then you still get the deck you still get the front axle you still get the tires you get the rear tires you get all that stuff you know so you gotta put that stuff into in perspective uh, I do test the transmissions uh, before I do list them and sell them uh, six speeds are easy six speeds you just basically throw her in a gear and just you know spin it check it you can either do it with one person or two persons two people it would be easier one to spin the pulley and Someone just to hold the shaft, so that's, you know, basically one way of testing the six-speed. Um, the hydras are a little bit different. Uh, these, you got to put a little bit of a drill onto it. Um, I'd have to kind of, sort of show you how I do it, but it, it works. There's a way of doing it. Testing for wines and all that stuff, it, it just takes a little bit to do. But, you know, I'll test them both out. I mean, I imagine they should be fine, so 
not that big of a deal. The motor that was on this one was blown, and I'm sure the transmission is fine. And the same with the six speed. The six speed came out of the tractor where the guy had the thing running and driving, and then he needed the motor, so he just pulled the motor off it. So I really don't need to test the six speed, but I'll test it anyway to make sure there's no stripness in it or you know gear grinding and that sort of nature. But that's the end of the video. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of work in this. What is this? A Kawasaki, a Kawasaki motor here. Try to figure what's out with it. Maybe we'll do a little bit of work on tomorrow. I don't know. I think I might be done for the day. Clean up the shop, and that's about it. So, anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, see ya.